are at Una Pizza Napolitana in San Francisco. We've been tasting a lot of pizzas with Anthony Mangieri. He's going to make one final pizza for us now. What's going to be, Anthony? Uh, this pizza is going to be the filetti, which filetti. is one that uh, we've been making since, I think I started making it about a year or so after I started the pizzeria in 96. In the summertime, my mom and I used to go to the farm markets and the tomatoes were so great that I was like, oh, I gotta chop these up and put them on a pizza. So I did that one summer and put a little uh, card out on the counter that said like, you know, this pizza filetti with the uh, chopped Jersey tomatoes and I put a little Jersey fresh sticker. Um, <laughs> And it was a huge hit. And then the following summer, I did it again. And then by the third summer, I had started to feel like this thing is really like I should make this year round. And, uh, around the third year of doing it, I started to see uh, on the market that you could get like uh, grape tomatoes. And I mean, that sounds strange now to think of, but back then, grape tomatoes weren't even something that right. existed to the public. And then it switched from being these large Jersey beefsteak style tomatoes chopped up with all the liquid taken out to a smaller, uh, cherry or grape or miniature heirloom Which, tomato. Some way and as I've been told by my wife and many other uh, native Italian speakers, it's technically named wrong. It should be filetto, just for the just for the record. Filetto. I've heard it over and over, but I called it filetti, and I've stuck with it, even though it's incorrect. And filetto refers to the fillet of tomato, in a sense. Exactly, exactly. So, so if as, as usual, naturally leavened dough, leaven dough all their pizzas are exactly. flattened in the same Very way. Quickly. And when you see like air pockets, do you worry about that? The thing is, there's not much I can do about it. There's a choice at this point when you're flattening the pizza to either knock those air pockets out, which will make it easier to bake. Some nights when I'm really getting aggravated with the air pockets, I'll start flattening all of them out. and. Um, but then when I go to eat the pizza, it doesn't taste as good. And and you're using two kinds of cheese on this. Oh uh, no, this is just buffalo mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella. You don't yeah. use the smoked mozzarella. No, the smoked is only on the Alaria that we make. So you only use buffalo mozzarella here, which that's is very unusual. Use, very, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know of too many pizzerias that only yeah, use buffalo that's mozzarella. That's all we use. That's the only cheese that we have uh, in the house. Great Sicilian salt Coarse going on there. Sicilian sea Coarse salt, salt, fresh garlic. So, which, so it's a lot like the marinara, except it's got cheese in terms of. Right now, you've got the, the salt and the right, uh, right. and the garlic. Right. Do you use Do you use any of the dry oregano on no, this one? No, no. The oregano only goes on the marinara. Only on the marinara. Yes. Um, and then we just add our fresh tomatoes. Do you um, Do you have relationships with some local farmers or growers that will produce things for Definitely, you? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, one of our main uh, producers for tomatoes, garlic, and the eggs is Elder Lane Farms, which is. Super small farm, all organic, like uh, super, super small. That too, it seems like it's the, a theme of the, our time right now. Finally, people are totally, building those relationships. Totally, totally, yeah. which is good for everybody all the way around. So, so fresh I, basil. I have seen some pizzerias that will use fresh tomatoes like you're using, and, it's, and they'll call it a margarita instead right. of using sauce, which right. is really the wrong name for this pizza. You know, every pizzeria calls it something different. Um, again, they would call it a filetto. Filetto. Or depending, a lot of times what's going on now and what's big in Naples as opposed to these um, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes is a tomato that's called a pianolo, which is a little bigger than like a cherry tomato and has like a little pointed tail on it. And they're usually grown on the slopes of Mount Vesuvius oh. and they have the skin still on them. And they're very, very, very intense. One of the big national trends these days is that more and more, it used to be only the high-end restaurants had relationships with growers. The Alice Waters of the World and the Wolfgang Puck would grow, would grow or have products grown for them. Now we're seeing it, you know, even into everyday dining, whether it's a Chipotle, at Fast Casual, but pizzerias more and more are going farm to table, or sometimes we'll call it farm to fork. So here we go. So this is going in the oven. Yes. And and a little olive oil. Again, little olive this oil. is Sicilian, Sicilian olive oil. oil from the coastal region. Yes. So that it doesn't have a grassy taste. Right, I right, like that. Right. I learned so that's something. I really lighter. glad I learned that from you. Yeah. And into the oven. Yeah. Going back, the flames are on the left. The piece is going to the right. That's the side that I always bake on. I mean, most uh, people that use these kind of ovens have a side that they work on. But but you had a different oven the last time I was here. You had a different oven yes. here in the pizzeria. It had a beautiful yes. blue yes. ceramic. So what's different about this oven than the oven you had before? Um, nothing really. But do but you think that the performance, baking performance is pretty similar? Uh, the baking performance is similar. The other oven, I think what the main issue was is that it was just bigger than I needed it to be. Um, they both work fantastic. I mean, they're both from people that have been doing this for a hundred years, and it's all they do is make these ovens. All right, 
So here it is, our filetto. Yes. Ready to go, nothing else goes on no. here. So we're gonna use a knife and fork to cut this, rather because you can't really pick the whole thing up. You could, if you were just eating by yourself, tear the whole thing. Buffalo mozzarella, some fresh cherry and grape tomatoes. It's still a little bit on the hot side. The tomatoes are, because they're whole, they're big pieces, really juicy. Yeah, it yeah, just kind of yeah, runs down your chin. Yeah. It's, it really is, even though it's similar to a margarita, it's very different because yeah. you've got the garlic, of course, but also these tomatoes react differently to the sauce and the crust than the sauce does. Totally. On an examination of looking at the menu, most people or a lot of people will be like, oh, they're all the same or they're all kind of the same, but they all actually do taste pretty differently. You call it here the filetti. Yes. If you go to Italy, call it the filetto. And this is, you know, really fabulous. When people come in, they should take one of those five, should not ask for you to do some variation on the, on the five. We would prefer them not to. <laughs> and, um, and on Saturday, you do a special pizza. Yes. What's that? Uh, on Saturday, we do the uh, Apollonia pizza, which is mozzarella, garlic, um, basil, fresh eggs and salami, and then it's finished off with a little bit of Parmigiano-Reggiano, and ends up sort of simulating uh, what we call a cazzatiella, which is a Easter bread that's made in Naples. It's, and you only do it on, there's a reason you only do it on Saturday. Yes, uh, we only do it on Saturday, because Saturday was the day that my daughter was born, and that's the name of the pizza, is the Apollonia. Oh, and your daughter's name is, is Apollonia. Apollonia. Perfect. Anthony Mangieri, Una Pizza Napolitana, San Francisco. Uh, Truly one of the great pizzerias in America. I hope if you come to the city, you get a chance to try it.